Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to thank you, Tapa, for inviting me in this event. It's a, it's a great event. Uh, I think uh, I'm gonna, uh, I would have been missed the opportunity if I was saying no, no to Tony in this one. Uh, really appreciate, Tony, that you're giving me this opportunity, and Tapa as well. So the reason I'm here basically to actually address a very critical aspects of our life and, and, um, and uh, uh, critical aspects of our, our, our uh, human existence. The topic is same as just Christian just mentioned, risk assessment, but has a bit of an add-on in there, which actually leads towards the, the compliance and audit. My background is basically it's from compliance and audit. I've been in this industry for a long time and um, helping organization to, to um, develop standards, implement standards, and, and um, establish processes. So the reason I'm doing, talking about the, the uh, risk assessment is actually to give you a bit of a very important uh, aspect of that, that risk, risk is an inherent part of our, of our human existence. It actually uh, unknowingly, unconsciously part of our life. Um, I think you all understand what I'm going to say, that we do risk assessment every day by teaching our kids how to cross the road. I think you all know if you've got kids, you take them to the park or somewhere, and when you cross the road, you, you teach them, make sure that they actually cross the road safely by checking both sides and see the green lights, and once it's safe, you, you, you cross the road. And at the same time, when they start riding a bike, um, you, you ask them to wear a helmet, you ask them to wear pads. And when they ask you a question, why, you, you tell them the reason that you're going to bump your head if you fall down, so that you know that there is a risk involved in there. And it's unknowingly you actually teach them how to make sure that they're safe. And we, we do risk assessment in our daily life while we, before we drive in the car, when we sit in a car, driving seats, we, we talk about, we, we actually understand, say, okay, drive, my, my mirrors are set, my seats are fixed, I've got everything ready to go, I'm safe. In fact, I'm going to tell you a very important part. In fact, we, we do risk assessment when getting our grocery done. It's very unknowingly, very unconsciously, when we, when we pick up a food items and we start reading the ingredients, we see is there any harmful ingredients in there which may cause harm if we are allergic to them? What is it? It's basically you're assessing risk. You're making it sure that you're not eating, you're not consuming anything that's harmful to you. So unknowingly, unconsciously, you, it's part of your life. It's everyday life. Risk assessment is nothing more than what you do every day. But the important part is understanding and effectively assessing risk is a vital for a progress of well-being of individuals, organizations, and, and society as a whole, basically. So today I'm, I'm going to talk about Am I using the computer right? Today I'm going to talk about why risk assessment is important and critical for compliance and audit. Understanding of risk assessment, which is very basic and layman, I think I'm not going to repeat, already covered by a Christian, uncertainties, resilience, disruption, that probably already been discussed, so I'm going to be more talking about uh, what is the daily life and how is it important for you to actually use that in your organization when you do be a part of a compliance and audit. The role of risk assessment in compliance, the importance of audit in risk assessment, best practices that you can use in risk assessment and compliance and audit, and, and in the end, benefit of effective risk assessment, um, compliance and audit. That's probably be a little bit of a topic of mine today. Risk assessment is a critical component of any organization compliance and audit functions. It involves identifying potential risks and taking steps and taking steps into, um, to mitigate, eliminate those risks before they actually cause harm to you, to your organization or to yourself. Effective risk assessment helps organization to ensure that their product services and processes meets the regularity requirements and industry standards. 
while also minimizing the risk, liability, and reputational damage. By proactively managing risk, organizations can improve their overall performance and maintain competitive edge in the marketplace. Risk assessment is a systematic process of identifying and analyzing, evaluating potential risks, uncertainties that may arise in various scenarios. It allows us to make informed decision and considering a likelihood and of an event and a potential impact it may have. By conducting a risk assessment, we gain insight into the potential consequences of our actions, enabling us to develop appropriate strategies to mitigate and manage those risks. A robust risk assessment process involves several key steps. I think the first step is identifying the risk, potential risk. This requires comprehensive analysis of internal and external factors, not just internal factors, and external factors as well. You need to make sure that you um, review your external factors, what cause harm from the outside that may impact your objective. By identifying risks, we become aware of the challenges we face and can begin devising appropriate strategies to address them. Once risks are identified, the next critical step is to evaluate them. This involves assessing the probability of an event occurring and a potential impact. Through a careful analysis, we can prioritize risk based on their severity and likelihood and allowing us to allocate resource effectively and focus on the most significant threats and opportunities. In our rapidly changing world where technology, globalization, and unforeseen events continuously reshape the landscape, risk assessment becomes increasingly crucial. It provides us a framework to navigate uncertainties and make well-informed uh, choices. Whether it's a business considering a new investment, a government formulating policies, or we're planning or individual planning for a future, uh, it, a thorough risk assessment is, is, a, is an essential process. It's a very important to, to do that. It's a first step. As I said, I'm here to talk about a bit of a uh, compliance and audit. So risk assessment plays a very vital and important role in ensuring compliance with the regularity requirement and customer's requirement as well. By proactively identifying and mitigating product and process risk, uh, organization can demonstrate to regulators and customers that they are committed to a high standard of a quality, safety, and security. Risk assessment can also help organization identifying opportunities and improvement and innovation, improvement identification of innovation. Risk, risk assessment can also help organization continuously assessing, improving their product, service, and processes. A proactive approach of risk management and compliance can help organization stay ahead in the competition and meets the evolving need of their customers. However, risk assessment does not end with analysis. The next critical step is to actually um, develop risk management strategies. This involves implementing measures to either avoid or mitigate those identified risks. Risk mitigation strategy may include implementing quality, safety, security protocols, diversifying investments, developing contingency plans, or improving infrastructure resilience. The goal is, basically, what we want to achieve is to reduce the likelihood and impact of those adverse events, while maximizing potential benefit to achieve. Now, we're going to talk about a little bit of audits and how audits plays a significant role in risk management 
by providing an independent and objective assessment of an organization manage management system and processes. Uh, you, you all know that now standards, all the ISO standards talks about risk and opportunity, risk and opportunity. It's a, it's a uh, mandated part of any um, global standard. Or it can help organization identify a potential risk, evaluate effectiveness and their controls, and make recommendation for improvement. There are several types of audit that organization can be part of. Some of them call as internal audits, external audits, supplier audits, regularity audits. Each type of audit has its own objectives and focuses on a different aspects of risk assessment. Internal audit might only consider understanding what are the deficiencies in the system that they are actually implementing. External audit might come and understand where the gaps are against the standard there you are actually subscribed to. Supplier audits basically focus on the, 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 the aspect of that there are no disruption, there are no um, aspect that actually stop the, um, the continuity of the business. And regularity audit also needs to make sure that they, they uh, check whether you're in compliance with the regularity requirement policies defined by the government and, and other industry body. Effectively managing risk and ensure compliance with regularity and customer's requirement, organizations should follow the best practice. In my opinion, there are a few best practices that you can follow, and there are many others that you can consider. In establishing clear policies and procedure, conducting regular assessments, implementing effective controls, and monitoring and reviewing performance. There are some other that you can add on. It basically depends on the, the organization's objectives. Ensuring employees are properly trained and aware of their roles and responsibilities. Fostering a culture of quality and continuous improvement. Engaging on open, transparent discussion and communication with regulators and other stakeholders. All of these are benefits to the organization if, if you wanted to implement a, a good risk assessment, good risk management plan in your organization and comply with. Moreover, risk assessment is not a solely responsibility of governments and organization in my opinion, and it's overall uh, industry practice as well, that it's, it's an individual's responsibility, and individuals can cultivate um, and make an informed decision in their personal lives. Even within the process, if you have designed any controls, you're still required to implement those controls, and, and implementation can only be done by the people who are involved and part of that process. If that person is not familiar and aware of those uh, importance of the of the risk may not be effective in terms of implementing those controls. So it, it is very very important to understand that individuals must be aware of those those importance. So uh, whether individuals deciding on a career choice that's a different story. Financial investment or health related matter it's a very important and basic understanding of risk assessment empowers individuals to navigate uncertainties and minimize potential negative outcomes. Effective risk assessment, compliance and audit process can provide numerous benefit to organization, including improved product quality, safety and security, increase efficiency and productivity, reduce liability, and reputational risk and enhance customer satisfaction. By following these best practices, continuously assessing and improving management systems and processes, organizations can stay ahead of the competition and maintain a strong, strong reputation for quality, safety, security, and reliability in the marketplace. Ladies and gentlemen, Risk assessment is not about eliminating risk entirely. You, some risk you can't eliminate. You, you have to make them, you manage them. 
Rather, it's about understanding and managing them effectively. It empowers us to make better choices, minimize the impact of adverse event, and maximize the opportunity for, for growth and success if you manage them correctly and properly. By embracing risk assessment as an integral part of our uh, decision-making process, we, make, we can create a more resilient and prosperous future in ourself, uh, for ourselves and for our future generation. In the end, um, let us commit ourselves, basically, to foster a culture of risk assessment in our daily life, in our businesses, in our society, where thorough analysis, informed decision making, and proactive risk management become a norm for us. In my opinion, sorry, my mistake. Um, in my opinion, together we can navigate the challenges of our um, of our time, seize opportunity, and build a better world for all. Um, before I end my speech, I would like to uh, read a very famous quote. I think you, most of you all know that quote. Uh, it's from Gary Cohn. If you don't invest in risk assessment, risk management, if you don't invest in risk management, it does not matter what business you're in. It is a risky business. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.